Hey folks, welcome back to Above Earth. This is going to be my third attempt at the game. Now, um, at the end of the last episode, you saw that I died because of what, of what I thought was a mistake that I made by, you know, building a heater and then dying from asphyxiation. Uh, turns out that that was actually a bug and uh, the developer actually emailed me and said, I'm really, really sorry. That's actually, that wasn't supposed to be in there and he fixed it immediately. So uh, that was good. Like, uh, he just kind of like fi he fixed the game like literally that day and then put a new version out with that fixed so um thanks to steve for doing that and thanks for letting me know i i didn't mind he was really apologetic and i was like don't worry man it, i had great fun playing that because i just it was so funny <laughs> i just i just naturally assumed that i'd done something wrong but that's okay um you see i've got i've got patience so if if i do something like that i'll just play again i know a lot of people don't these days like if they I don't know. I don't want to go on a rant about modern game, modern gaming. It seems to be from reading a lot of Steam reviews, put it this way, that a lot of people can't handle losing, not even once. And I, I just think that you know, wow, I've lost. I've got, a, I've got, a, I've got a challenge to overcome. But um, cheers to Steve for letting me know about that, and uh, let's get on to a new game. Okay, here we go. Um, again, I'm going to try to do this Earth Orbit one. I'm talking to somebody, and they were saying that they played on the Mars surface. And it was really cool in on that as well. So I, I will switch it up. Um, but I'm yeah, I think I'd like to try the Earth Orbit one again. This time, I think I am going to skip the intro cinematic. For those of you who... Uh, planet damage. No, we'll leave that on. Uh, so I'm just going to skip the intro cinematic because you guys have seen it all so far. Um, so I'm just going to put it on. Oh, okay. This is the preset. Here we go. Let's just generate the station. So it's, I, I, I guess it just must generate a different station each time that you play. It's really nice for replayability. There we go. Damaging station. Here comes the missile. Hey, there it goes. Damaging. Look at this. Actually, uh, watch all this happen too. Okay, so those are the models we've got left. And it's scattering out the... Uh, it must be scattering out all these components. Here we go. Begin game. Okay, that's really cool as well. I like that. Okay, so here we are at the start of the game. And um, where is the planet? There we go. There is Earth. Let's see what we can see around us. Now, I don't know if we... Oh, do we need to get into the, uh, this, uh, the uh, EVA first or the EVA port? I think I'm going to just because... The last time I didn't, um, I, I found that I wasn't able to uh, interact with stuff. And I think that might have been locked out just for that kind of preview. Should probably go and um, see our friend who died as well. I assume he's our friend. Tokahashi. Okay. Let's try and get into the uh, into here without using too many using too much fuel. There we go. Initiate EVA return. In we go. Look, don't you think these graphics are great? This is like, like I, I, I just installed a ray tracing version of Portal. Uh, if you remember Valve's game Portal, it's a superb game, and um, they look a whole lot different to this. To be honest with you, I don't think they still have the ray tracing stuff, but still, oh, it might do. Um, Steve might be able to uh, let me know how how it is that he's done the uh, the graphics there. Let's see what we can find. Okay, we got a glow stick. So there we are. Okay, let there be light. Let's pick up all this stuff that we can see, because um, we actually we want to do that quickly, don't we? Let's pressurize the door and begin that that uh, process starting. The vibro hammer. We got an oxygen candle. Okay, um, are we concussed? That's what I want to know. Oh, did we start the game with an injury like we did last time? No, we didn't. Okay, so. Actually, by skipping the uh, introduction, you do get a bit of a head start. Sorry, folks, I had to take a quick break. Okay, let's just grab all this stuff that's floating around just so we can get it out of the way. Is that if I think it is. I think that is it. Oh, there's an oxygen, another oxygen candle. Okay, so hit the um, tab key. Looks like the temperature's going down, but we're okay for fatigue. I think what we want to do is now we've started the... Um, we have started that process. Cold pack. Okay, there we we've, we've actually got a container here with a bunch of stuff in. Um, let's just have a look at our crafting 
is there anything that we want here? I'd say not. I think we need to get out as quickly as possible. In fact, do we want to put this stuff into... Have we got a container we can put this stuff in? Maybe not. I wonder how easy it is to build a container to keep things in. Let's just go to construct. Okay, so we've got a toolbox, a container, storage container, large storage container. Makeshift chem heater, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, we probably don't have that many materials. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think actually we've got, I think there's a, uh, the EVA itself has got a storage area. So let's just go and check that. Yeah, that is this thing here. Look, the EVA port. Look, there's a locker here. Um, so we can actually grab some fuel tanks. Let's put some of our stuff that we don't need in here. Um, I'm going to assume that we're not going to need these oxygen candles. Um, and all these glow sticks. Might just keep one or something. Oh, I, is that right? Did I keep one? No, no, no. I, let's see how this works. So, one. Okay, so yeah, that means one is going over. Transfer. There we are. Uh, anything else we don't need here? Probably the tool battery. And we'll just start. We'll try. We'll start trying to get a little bit organized. <clears throat> and the, the the less stuff that we carry around, the better. To be honest, we'll keep oxygen tanks there. And we. Uh, I probably will refuel. So, oops, load fuel. Uh, that should be enough. We don't want to be spending much more than that. Um, hold on. Where are we? EVA port. Sorry, there we go. And uh, we'll drop in... What else have we got? Coal pack, I guess. Let's just keep those on. They don't look like they're very... They might be coming handy. Okay, let's initiate EVA. And away we go. So... Out into uh, deep space again, or into space. Let's see what we can see that is close. Um, we probably want. Just put this thing, this item away. Got some wreckage. I don't think that's going to be much use. Solar panel wreckage. There's a survival kit there. Emergency container as well. That's quite a way though. Um, Hotoshimi. There looks like there's another astronaut uh, out there. Supply cargo container. Ah, there's a very large air tank out that way. Okay. I think we'll just go and get the, uh, the closest survival container first. Where is that? Container. Ah, survival kit. There we are. So. Here it is, survival kit. M. Now, I'm going to try and get there as quick as we can. Because I think uh, time is an issue. As much as fuel. Because time equals fatigue and thirst and hunger. And warmth, I guess, as well. What else have we got around here that's close? There's another container that, uh, out this way and a very large air tank. Maybe we'll try and get a few of these things as we uh, as we come in here. Start slowing down. Oh, that's not up. There we are. And try and get ourselves aligned with this thing. Man, this is a really chilled out game. I really like it. It's funny. Like, I kind of think gameplay-wise, right? This kind of reminds me... Some of the older games that I used to play on, on you know, older systems like the ZX Spectrum or the Atari ST I had as well, uh, you'd get games where, you know, the, um, the the graphics were kind of more minimal and it was more about the gameplay, you know, like, and I suppose one example would be the original Elite on the BBC Micro. Uh, okay, so we've got a medikit here. So, yeah, we definitely want that. We want the oxygen candles. What have we got here? Morphine shot, hot pack. Oh, yeah, we want all this stuff, so let's take all this. An emergency flare. I wonder what we could use that for. 
Interesting. Okay. We didn't get any water. So, um, yeah, that's the thing. Can we dismantle this? What would we get? Materials. Interesting. Yeah, why not? Um, oh, we don't have a tool battery. Ah, okay. I didn't bring the battery out with the uh, vibro hammer. Saying to, hang on a minute. It's saying we can do it, though. Oops, sorry, guys. One minute. Um, mantle. Unable to dismantle. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Because we need the we need the tool battery. I didn't take that. No, okay. No worries. We'll come back for that. Um, there's another container there. Look. Now, does that is that a container we can get into? Don't know. I think so. I'm guessing that we can. All the panel wreckage, industrial, yeah. The industrial cargo was the one that it took us a long time to get into, wasn't it? So long that I died. So let's uh, go for this one here. <clears throat> now, there's going to be an optimal speed, I reckon, for you in terms of how much time you're taking to get to where you're going and, you know, the amount of fuel that you're using. That's, I guess that's something that you'll be figuring out as you go along. Depending on you, and that would depend, of course, on the resources that you've got available. Right? If you've got loads of fuel, then probably wise to be traveling around at faster speed. Yeah, I've been looking forward to playing this actually. Like, uh, I wanted to play it earlier in the week, didn't really have much time. And, um, yeah, nice, a nice thing to play on a Sunday evening. So if we can figure out what's in this canister here, that would be great. Hopefully we've got something that can enable us, you know, like some materials to enable us to to craft enough stuff that we can survive long enough for that door, the door to open. And I'm hoping, hoping beyond hope, that uh, we will be able to get through that door. Now we've actually used a fair amount of fuel getting here. There we go. Let's see what we got. Chemicals, coal pack, dirty water, glow stick, food, oxygen candle, uh, garbage, battery, food. No water, though. <clears throat> okay. We've got to find water. Because we don't have much water. We've only got a little bit. Uh, do I want to take all this stuff? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I do. Can you drag and drop this? Yes, you can. That's dirty water. Now, we might be able to do something with that. But let's take it anyway. We're just going to take all of it, I think. Uh, we can always discard the, the garbage later. Uh, is there anything else around here? Are there any more containers? Because we really want some clean water. If I can find it. I was hoping the survival kit would have had some in. Um, there's another emergency container in front of us, but I don't know how far. It looks like it's quite a long way out. Probably want to get back towards the station too. Uh, there's a large fuel tank there. And what else have we got? There's another survival kit. Wow, it's 17. It's nearly two kilometers away. Another survival kit that way. I think we need water. And I'm worried if we don't get it, we might be in trouble. So <clears throat> let's head for this this other survival kit. And then we're going to have to try to get back home. Yeah, I think we can do it. Hang on. Um, too far away? No, I just wasn't... I wasn't pointing at it. Okay. Okay, we are going pretty fast here. <coughs> you are traveling very fast. If you collide with an object at this speed, you'll be badly injured. Got to kind of calculate how um, 
Yeah, we're running, we're running a little low on lock oxygen, actually. So I think we're going to grab this and then we're going to go back. We're not low on oxygen. We've got 64%, but it's still... He's getting tired as well. So... Yeah, getting quite close. I think we'll be able to get back here okay. Maybe a little bit risky. Um, but one thing that's good about this is we are spending some time while, well, you know, waiting for that door to open. And we're not we're not wasting our time. Really what we need is water, though. Unless I can find a way of purifying that dirty water, um, we could be in trouble. No, I've got to be careful because I don't want to overshoot this. Okay, I think we should, we can we can slow down fairly quickly. Maybe if I do it within the last hundred meters. So just get up, up a bit. Here we go. Yeah, we're using a lot of fuel to get to this. It must be this must be traveling quite fast. Uh, I'm going to start slowing down now. I hope it's worth it, because we use a, quite a lot of fuel to get to this. Our next job will to be get will be to get some fuel. Okay, what do we got in here? We no, still no water. Okay, um, we got medikits, basic medical kits. Mm, let's just take all this stuff. Yeah, we're carrying quite a lot. Uh, we don't have any water, though. Uh, but we've got to get back here now, so let's do that. Um, that debris. I'm not sure what we're... Uh, that's one thing I'll say is here. A Diff little difficult to see what we're targeting on. I think that that's where we're going. So let's just head towards this. <clears throat> Okay. We've got anything around us. Large air tank. It looks like the the this stuff scattered around a lot more than it was in the last game if I'm if I'm reading this right. I might be wrong there. Yeah, we are traveling very very fast. Yeah, it looks like we're going towards the EVA uh, hatch. So that's good. <clears throat> We're just going to keep an eye on our target here. We start slowing down at about 200. Anything around us? Oh, there's a supply cargo look. I think I'm going to come back for that later. Let's just go. We'll just, we'll um, jump out and we'll get, we'll jump back into the, into the station and we'll rest and we'll get some, uh, we'll, we'll eat and drink. I think that's going to be the thing. down a little bit in we come in we come ah we've got to go on the other side of it by the looks of it. so slow 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 okay there we go Man, it's like it's like docking in. I don't know if you ever remember in the original Elite game when you had to dock with the before before in uh, you know the other Elite games where you start getting the auto docking system. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> Physics is a lot better in this though. Okay, we are back into our new home, I guess. Let's have a look at what we've got in the EVA locker. So we need to load up some of this fuel. Oh, we don't have a lot. I think we're going to have to. Yeah, let's load oxygen. 
Hey, that's enough. Um, let's start putting some of this stuff into the TVA locker. But let's just put it all in, and then we'll pick what we want. That's probably a better way of doing this. So let's grab, grab our tools. Uh, we need a tool battery. And we want some water. And we probably let's take a uh, take a cold pack. Take the cold packs, and we'll take the heat packs because I think they're probably essential. And we've got a medikit and a, me a basic medikit and a medikit. Um, we've got glow sticks for for light for the time being, so they'll probably be okay. We want to take an oxygen candle. We've got loads of those now. Let's grab, let's grab one. Okay, probably should use that too. Get some oxygen in here. Let's just check what the oxygen's like. Ox air quality is bad. Yeah, we need the oxygen candle. So let's let's use this. Okay, we're just gonna stick it there. All right, and what's the temperature like? Getting hot. So. I think what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these cool packs. We're going to cool it down and then we're going to try to sleep. Have we got now? We probably need some food. Yeah, we got fatigue, thirst, and hunger. Um, I think the water. Okay, good. And we're going to sleep. Maybe we sleep eight hours. Does that sound about right. Looks like exposure in the minus. Hold on a minute. Let's see how this goes. Okay, it's starting to get cold again. Okay. Let's stop here. We seem to have got, we've got loads less fatigue. Now, our thirst is going down. We need to go and find some water. How are we doing with this door? 46%. Okay. This is kind of where I got last time. <laughs> so uh, let's see if we can, see if we can make it a little bit further this time. <clears throat> go to the EVA port and see what we've got here. Um, right, we need water. That's, that's the thing that we really, really need next. Um, now, we can probably, we've got some chemicals. We've got a whole bunch of stuff here too. Uh, what do we? Let's see what we can craft. Water. We would need dirty water and water for purification tablets. Okay, we don't have those. Uh, an oxygen candle you can make with water, chemicals, and material. Okay, you can make a bunch of glow sticks with one chemical. Antiseptic. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, not a whole lot of stuff. M2 flight shirt. Interesting. So we can make more, more equipment. Okay, makeshift electroshock. What's this? Electroshock weapon. And then electroshock charge. Okay, well maybe there's stuff we've got to fight later. That's kind of interesting. Okay, um, let's get back out and see what we can find. So let's, we're going to put this away, get back out to the EVA port and initiate EVA. And we're going to go and open some more containers and see what we can find out here. Wow, look at this. Look at the graphics. That's fantastic. Oh, it's a really, really nicely made game, man. Really, really nicely made. Okay. What else can we find? So let's see if we, we really, really need... Yes, yeah, so we've got an emergency container there. There's a large air tank, but we need fuel, I think. Is there a fuel tank out here somewhere? There's a large air tank there. Emergency container. Uh, emergency container. Survival. Okay, there's another survival kit. We need, we need fuel, though. Because fuel is what we need. Can you guys see... Oh, have we got a light on? Press L. Okay, let's just turn off our light. Um, large fuel tank. There's one. Is there any more? There's a large air tank there too. 
Okay, there's a container out this way. So let's go and get this large fuel tank. And we've also got a dead compadre out this way too. I wonder if we should try and grab that, uh, go and see him as well. Uh, but I think we should go towards the fuel tank first, so... Oops, that's the wreckage. There we are. And try to be a little bit sparing with the fuel if we can. But bearing in mind that we are going to get more fuel here. Now, I don't know how much a large fuel tank holds. Let's hope it holds enough to keep us... To keep us going for a while. Wreckage, wreckage. Tokahashi, who is dead. There's a standard fuel tank out that way too. Let's go and get the large fuel tank first. We won't be able to... We'll have to grab this. Grab that container that's close by maybe. But should we grab that container first? I don't know if that's going to be easier to... Uh, f whether it's going to be more fuel consume... You know, whether it's going to consume our fuel more to actually change, change tack at this point. I really don't know. I reckon so. I reckon if you keep adjusting your course, you're going to be using more fuel. That seems to make that seems to be the uh, what makes sense to me. Let's go into drift. Okay. So we just we just skipped some of that time. Okay. I'm gonna go and grab this fuel tank. Look at this. Yeah. Earth's looking a bit scary. Okay, coming in. In we come. So once we grab the fuel tank, we're going to reload. I'm going to go and see if we can... Um, we might have to go... Oh, shit. Oh, wrong button. Yikes. Come on, Ben. Pull it together. Yeah, we're going the wrong way now, look. Come back. There we are, look. Just going to use our little UI... To, you see the tool on the right? But, uh, just above. Oops. Too much. Just above where it says fuel... Can I help you can use that to help you guide in. Okay, got a 20 litre fuel tank. Okay, that's plenty of fuel. <clears throat> I think the large, I think the small fuel tank gives you 10. Uh, okay, what else have we got? Wow, loads of stuff around here. We've got another standard fuel tank. We've got an emergency container. We need, we need food. Uh, sorry, we need water. Hmm. Uh, how are we doing for air? We've got 75% oxygen. There's another large fuel tank over there. I wonder... Like, I don't think we've got a whole lot of fuel, to be honest. Where is the... Um, where is the dead? Yeah, there he is. T Tokahashi. Let's try to get out to him. He might have water on him. Or he might not. What is that floating there? Wreckage. Very large air tank. That might be something we want to go for eventually. <clears throat> I'm really excited to see what's through, uh, what's through the the doors in the space station. I, that's what I'm I'm holding out for that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go and see what I, I want to see what's through this through the doors. What secrets does the space station hold? Now, obviously, your character is going to know, right? Because he's presumably, presumably, he's been living on this thing for a while, or at least he's familiar with it. So, um, he's not giving any any secrets away, though. Let's go turn the volume on the game up just a touch. Okay, Takahashi, what secrets do you hold on your? On your floating corpse. Getting close.
God, this is creepy. Okay, he's got water on him. That's great. Okay. He's got a microprocessor. Interesting. Uh, he's got... He's run out of air. Empty large air tank. And he's got a drill tool. Um, we probably want to take that. Oh, 10 kilos. Big drill. Are we encumbered? No. Okay. Is that all we can do? Is this all the interactions we can have with Tokahashi here? Poor guy. Looks like he ran out of oxygen, or he, maybe he was killed by the concussion when the uh, when this when this blew up. Okay, what do we do? We've got twenty one fuel. We probably need to get back to the EVA port. I think we're going to aim for that, and then we're going to take a drink. Interesting survival game, right? Because. You're basically looking at all your needs and you're having to, yeah, really having to fix things one thing at a time. It's like, okay, now I need water. Now I need fuel. And just to go and get water or just fuel, there's a fair amount you've got to do. Oh. If you reach the point of no return, you may be lost in space forever. Okay, this is because of the the fuel. Music starts getting more tense. Don't panic, guys. We'll be all right. So really what we want to do is we've got we've just got to survive now long enough to be able to get through that door. I'm hoping that there's going to be some more, you know, supplies once we've got through this, this door that's kind of depressurizing. Um, in the meantime, we're going to keep going for these emergency containers and containers to try to find stuff to keep us alive. Wow. There's a lot of debris. There's a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm hoping that we'll be able to find enough things to survive in, like, through this door that we won't have to keep coming out here too much. But I suspect that's not going to be the case. There's the EVA poor look. Okay. I gotta be careful here. I'm gonna slow down a bit. Getting close. Here we go. It's a really interesting take on the survival game as well because I think, you know, there's certain skills that you've got to have in a survival game, which is obviously the resource management stuff, right? There we go. That's a little bit better. I think we're going to make it. So uh, rather than kind of shoot killing monsters, you know, shooting dinosaurs or zombies or whatever it is that most of these survival games have you doing, this is very much more, there's a little bit of skill to do with a little bit of skill to do with the maneuvering in space and the fuel the fuel economy. Oops. Here we go. Now, Steve made this music himself. I did actually ask him. I was like, oh, I really like the synth music in the game. It sounds like, you know... Oh, hang on. There we go. Yeah, he and he said he made the music himself. So I thought that was really, really cool. It's very minimal and I really like that kind of thing. I think it suits the game really, really nicely. Okay, let's go to the EVA port. There we go, look. So we've almost completely filled our fuel tank. Now let's get, let's pop the fuel. Oh, the container infantry support. Interesting. Uh, yeah, okay. So we can't get the fuel tank in there. Um, we probably have to take out some stuff. Maybe we just, yeah, we probably want the fuel tank in there. Let's take out uh, 100, you know, 60 kilos worth of stuff here and we'll we'll bang it in another container or something. Um, get some more out. Oh, we've got the air tanks there. Get rid of that empty fuel tank. Okay, now we can probably put this big one in. 
Nope, still too much. There we are. All right. That's looking good. We still got. We're still carrying too much stuff. Uh, now let's. We want to get some of this oxygen. Okay. Glow stick. Yeah, we got some glow sticks. This one's still going. That's interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So let's. I'm gonna drop. Excuse me. Just one second, folks. Excuse me. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna drop this uh, empty canister. I'm just gonna click, click on drop. I don't know if we can recycle. Yeah, we, it says you can recycle it. I wonder if there's something we can do with that later. Let's drop the air tank as well. And do we need to sleep? Yeah, we do. We also need to drink. Um, did we find water? Yep. Drink. And we, at this point, we probably want to eat as well. Oh, it looks like it's getting very hot, so we're going to use a cold pack. And then we're going to sleep. And we're going to sleep for five hours. Let's do that. Okay. That's probably enough, right? Yeah, that's probably enough. Um, maybe one more. We'll be careful of the thirst and sleep and the calorie store and stuff. Okay. All right, folks. How are we doing with the door? Oh, it's nearly there. We are nearly through the door. But I think at this point, it's probably a good time to end the episode because it's been going on for just over half an hour now. So um, I'm going to save the game here. Let's just call it Ben's game. Oh, no, we didn't get to choose. Okay. Um, that's interesting, actually. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the series. I know it's quite a quiet and chilled out thing. Um, I, I don't expect, like, I'm going to get a whole lot of people watching these these game kind of games because most of my crew, you know, you're like a uh, strategy gaming, right? But I did see at least... Uh, there was a guy on the uh, on the Steam page for the game who's, who said he saw the game on here. So I'm really pleased about that because this is a cool game. And I think, you know... Let's get let's get Steve Steve some more players playing this because I think this is really this is really really fun. You can tell he's put a lot of work into it, and so it's it was, it was really nice to see that you know a f there there are people who are watching it at least and you know hope, thinking about picking up the game. So that's great to hear. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you next time. Take care.